Um, often I see JavaScript being blamed when the problem is something else. That's definitely something that surprises me every now and then. It's like, oh, this is about our, this is, I'm using React. I have an SEO problem. Oh, you know, that's because of JavaScript. You can never, ever have something that works well for search engines with JavaScript. And I'm like looking at it, I'm like, well, you could if your JavaScript wouldn't be roboted. So like we can't access your JavaScript. So mm. um, that's that's definitely one that happens very often. Uh, we do see people breaking websites for users rather than for search engines. So like it is indexable. We do rank it, but it is terrible if you open it on a normal website because we are like shipping five megabytes of JavaScript for a very simple scrolling list of products. Um, that's something that goes wrong quite often. Uh, I do see people making mistakes with lazy loading and infinite scrolling. Uh, we definitely work on better guidelines for that as well. Um, both of these techniques are great unless you implement them incorrectly. Uh, another thing that I see relatively often is that people rely on JavaScript to do things that you can do without JavaScript. That's not something that you need to inherently be careful about. It's just something that I think is pointless. Um, like, for instance, if you want a link, then use a link. Why would you use fancy, fancy JavaScript to do something? Unless it's a single page application and you want to have like nice transitions between pages, sure. Um, but you can do that without it. You can do uh, drop downs and, and um, like, sidebar navigations. You can do that with CSS rather than much JavaScript. Um, you can do lots of animations with CSS efficiently. Why would you use JavaScript? A few people are really happy and recreating Flash using JavaScript by using things like Canvas and WebGL. Um, these are amazing technologies for what they do, but provide a fallback or you're back in Flash land. But that's actually relatively rare. There are just a few people who are like, this idea comes up every couple of years, and it's going to be the future of the web, and then it disappears after a few weeks because it turns out to be really hard to do, right? So 